I would like to uh, take this opportunity to thank everybody who have uh, watched my videos uh, as of taping this over 10,000 views I am quite proud of that uh, so far 63 subscribers so I am very <laughs> proud of that I've grown quite a bit in this year and I would like to thank everybody who have watched who have left me comments and likes uh, thank you very much and I hope you enjoy this video hey everyone welcome back to my channel today's video I'm going to be talking about Corgi's uh, Bedford Carry More Car Transporter it's uh, number 1105 and this one here is been released in 1962 to 1966 now there's the other version that was released is the 1101 which is the Bedford Carrymore but it was released between 57 and 62 it uses the same trailer just the cab is slightly different now this one here of course is uh, my version and it's in I consider very nice shape it does have a few rough spots as you can see there's a small little spot on the top of the roof and in front of the cab but overall all the parts are there and in very good shape uh, the mirrors themselves are still attached on both sides uh, the decals are very nice tires and rims of course it has the nice corgi logo on the back and very nice color and it does have a very nice ingenious way of bringing uh, the deck down I'm going to shift the car over slightly and we can see that the ramp has little notches that click in to the top part of the deck and what that does is it keeps it from falling off so when you do lower the ramp down and it is quite heavy now it's the same thing with the ramp other than these nice little friction little struts that they give you here is in here is the same idea where it clicks in and then when it's lifted up you can of course click it down and the ramp meets the top deck meets the ramp so as you can see how it nicely folds down and it's the same process to when you go up as you just simply lift the deck but before I do that you can see how the cylinders go down into the bottom part so now you could simply lift up over and click them down and they very nicely secure so you know you could physically try to move the deck but the deck won't move at all and then it's the same thing just lift up to the ramp position it down and it stays in place now what we could do is we could <coughs> detach the truck from the cab and we will uh, look at the truck a little bit closer of course this is the truck itself as you can see it it's nothing too overly spectacular about it it is in a very nice red color uh, rims and tires are in very nice shape with a nice gray base get a closer look it's a, the Bedford tractor unit its tires and rims are of course are in very nice shape it is a very nice little display piece even with a little bit of the paint wear 
like I've said in previous videos, I don't mind the paint wear. I don't mind a little bit of play wear on it. And some of my vehicles, like uh, the, the Play Art Car Transporter is in very rough shape, but I do display it that way because I do like them. I don't mind them being like that. They're a little bit of a conversation piece. You can see that somebody has played with these, but this one here, it's in very minimal wear. So it does seem like it's been in somebody's collection at one point and has seen a bit of wear. But like here, the, the interior is yellow, the nice little steering wheel, as you can see, it's very nice badging at the front. The grill work is really nice. I do love this one very much, but I'm gonna take the truck off and we'll look at a closer bit of the trailer. And here's the trailer that's not attached to the truck, of course. Now you can see how they attached it when I tilt the trailer over. It's like a nice little ball hitch in front which seats very nicely in the truck itself. So when you actually do put it on, and of course, here's a stop to where it hits the, uh, the stops so it won't overturn. And it just clicks in there very nicely and very securely and it doesn't fall out no matter what you do. Now again, you can see it's the Corgi Majors Toys Carry More Car Transporter and how everything is attached when you unclick the decks and you could see that you know how the arms shift in on a nice little pivot system and of course how the cylinders go in and out and the back part of course is hidden behind the plate that secures the rear wheels and the trailers. I, it's, it's a very nice ingenious way of doing it and I appreciate Corgi's effort on this. And when of course where you introduce the truck back and you click it in, it's a nice secure click and nothing happens on it. It's, it's a very very nice very nice uh, system that Corky did. Now when I do display these, uh, the, this, uh, this Bedford, what I like to do is I like to keep it in the British theme, so I present them with some Jaguars on top, such as this one here, which is my best. Nice little convertible, so I like to put that on top. Makes it look kind of neat, and of course you got couple ones of our XJ120 by Vanguards so I could of course put it in and drive it in and then there's nice little stops for the tires so it doesn't fall out and of course I got another one by Brum that fits in there quite nicely so of course when you put the deck down I won't do that now, of course, but then I got the nice E-Type from AutoArt, which I like to store on top so it makes them look, you know, it makes it look a very nice display unit for the Jaguars. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye for now.